How you doing? Welcome back. Today we are putting a spin on an old classic. We're doing smoked deviled eggs with jalapeno and bacon. So to start off with, I got my uh, eggs already hard boiled here and peeled. Uh, I didn't think I needed to show you guys how to make a, a hard boiled egg, uh, but just in case you didn't, uh, here's my favorite method in 11 seconds. Put your eggs in the pot. Cover with about two inches of cold water. Bring to a rapid boil. Cover and remove from the heat. Set a timer for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, move to an ice bath to stop the cooking process. So now that we got our eggs hard boiled, it's time to throw some smoke on them. There's two different ways to smoke. Uh, you can cold smoke or hot smoke. Hot smoking is just what it sounds like. Uh, we don't want to hot smoke these because if we do, it's going to cook the eggs further and when you overcook an egg, it gets kind of rubbery tasting and rubbery eggs are no good. So we're going to cold smoke and I've got two different methods we're going to try here. This one I've done a bunch of times before. Uh, this is a, it's called the Amazing, Amazing Pellet Smoker. And the great thing about this thing is you can throw it into any grill and turn any grill into a cold smoker. I'll leave a link down in the comments on where you can pick this up on Amazon, but I think it was about 25 bucks. You pick up any kind of wood chip pellets, you fill it in, you fill it in here, light it up, and uh, it doesn't generate much heat. You throw that in your grill and close, close the lid on your grill and you're good to go. This is another uh, kind of gadget I picked up uh, as a gift a couple years ago that I haven't really tried that much. So I figured this might be a good time to kind of run a test, see how they uh, compare. It's a pretty simple idea. You got sawdust here and this one happens to be cherry we're going to smoke this one with cherry the pellets i'm going to use are going to be hickory pellets so we'll have two different kinds of smoke uh, but you put this inside of here you hit the fan and light that up and then the smoke comes out this end so let's get to smoking okay so i'm loading in a handful of hickory pellets and then i fire it up with a mini torch we really just want one side of the pile of pellets to smolder and this amount of chips will be more than enough to last 30 minutes. I throw it onto the grill and toss in the eggs. Close it up for 30 minutes. The smoke infuser takes about a teaspoon of cherry sawdust. Applewood sawdust would work good here too. So then I turn on the fan and fire it up. I gotta move quick to stick the end of the hose into an airtight container with the other half of the eggs. I'm making a total of 14 eggs between both smoking methods. I'll leave this Tupperware covered for about 30 minutes as well. And while they're smoking, I'll prep the bacon. Put six strips of bacon into a 400 degree oven for about 30 minutes. After about half an hour on the grill, I'm going to pull the eggs. You don't want to put too much smoke on the eggs, it can make the, the eggs bitter. I'll then chop up enough pickled jalapenos to make about three tablespoons. And about two stalks of green onions. Four of the six strips of bacon will also get a rough cut leaving two strips for garnish later on. Now here I'm using my favorite spice rub. This is actually my brother's recipe. It goes great on just about everything. But feel free to use your own favorite spice rub. Smoked paprika would work great here too. I'm mixing about a tablespoon of booty rub with a tablespoon of brown sugar. I feel like those little pops of sweetness go really good with the bacon. One trick I learned is to cut off a thin slice of egg white on each half of the egg. It helps to stabilize them on a plate to keep them from rolling over. I mash up the yolks with a fork and toss it into a large Ziploc baggie. Into that bag goes about three to four tablespoons of mayo, about a tablespoon of mustard, a tablespoon of white vinegar or apple cider vinegar, or you can do like I'm doing and use some of that pickled jalapeno juice. Then I toss in the jalapenos, bacon, about a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt, and some fresh cracked pepper. Squeeze out the air, seal the bag, and mush it all up. That's the uh, technical term for it, mush it all up. What's nice is doing it this way in the bag allows you to snip off one corner, and now you're ready to pipe it back into the egg whites. Break up those last two strips of bacon and stick a bite-sized piece into each egg. It's kind of like a backstop for another chunk of pickled jalapeno. A smoky, delicious backstop. I think it's also kind of nice to let people see some of the ingredients that they're going to be getting themselves into. 
Lastly, I'm going to garnish with those sliced green onions and sprinkle on a little of that spice rub brown sugar mix. Okay, nothing left to do but to uh, give it a try. I'm going to start out with the first egg. This is going to be the one that was done the traditional way uh, that I did outside on the big green egg uh, with the amazing smoker gadget. And it's very familiar to what I'm used to. Uh, it's got that smokiness really comes through on the egg. Uh, yeah, the jalapeno, don't let them scare you. They're not that, they're not that spicy. Bacon, fantastic. All right, real quick, let's try the one where we used uh, this indoor gadget. See how these held up. You know, I'm honestly a little bit surprised. I was, I was almost thinking that that thing was going to fail, but the smokiness comes through in that too. Uh, that's fantastic. So if you don't have a smoker at home and uh, you don't have the space, you don't want to spend the money on it, this might be something worthwhile, one of these smoke infusers. Maybe pick yourself up one of those things. Uh, I think it worked out pretty good. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And until next time, we'll see you around.